this video we are looking at configuring at CyberShield traffic filtering. Navigate to the Shield page on Administration Portal by clicking on Shield in the navigation bar. If this is the first time accessing this page, you will see this setup wizard which is configuring CyberShield domain filtering step 1. Check out our domain filtering video series for more information. Once you select your desired domain filtering protection level, click on enable and you will be redirected to step 2 which is enabling traffic filtering. As you can see there are three IPS protection levels and one IDS or monitor only level. Choose the appropriate and desired level and then click on enable. Now let's look at the advanced configuration of CyberShield traffic filtering. In order to configure CyberShield to act as an intrusion detection system or IDS and start monitoring the traffic transiting OpenVPN cloud for reporting on the encountered types of malicious traffic and policy violations, you need to navigate to the Shield page on Administration Portal by clicking on the Shield in the navigation bar. On the traffic filtering section, toggle the monitoring switch to on. Now in order to configure CyberShield to act as an intrusion prevention system or IPS and drop traffic transiting through the OpenVPN cloud that matches certain threat signatures corresponding to different threat severity levels or threat categories, click on the pencil or edit icon in the traffic filtering widget. As you can see on the screen, the traffic filters priority settings will be displayed. Traffic matching specific threat signatures are classified into three levels according to severity of those detected threats. Critical level 1, high or level 2, and medium or level 3. We recommend blocking critical or level 1 traffic, which blocks threats from malware torsions worms and certain intrusion activities. Select threat priorities level that should be blocked and then click on the save button once you're done. Now if you would like to block traffic by the category of detected threats then clear any priority settings and click on the category tab. N note that blocking by either threat category or threat priority is possible but not a combination of both. So the traffic filter category settings will be displayed again. A single threat category can contain a mix of threats of different severity in terms of priority levels. Select the threat categories to block. Click the save button once you're done. 